Hello everyone, this is Maruf. In this video, I'm going to talk about user-defined objects. So user-defined objects are basically documents or forms that you get to create on your own and you get to input an extra bit of information that you may not be able to input from any of the modules that are provided by SAP Business One. So for example, if you're a business and you have a vehicle management uh, operation going on, SAP Business One does not provide a particular module for that operation. So what you can do is you can create an user-defined object for that. So we'll get into the details uh, very soon. There are a bunch of, uh, well, rather actually two uh, predefined criteria that you need to follow before creating a new DO. First, you need to create a bunch of user-defined tables. So for that, we go to Tools, Customization Tools, and then click on User Defined Table Setup. And on this User Defined Tables, you have to create User Defined Fields. So those are the two things that you need in order to create an User Defined Object. Let's create a, a table called VMST and call it Vehicle Table. So I have previously mentioned that uh, in order to create an User Defined Object, you need to either uh, set the object type as master data and master data rows or of document and document rows Those are the only options you will get when you When we See next how to create an user defined object. So for this uh, particular table we will choose document and Click on update. So we have our table created. We'll create a child table as well And call it a child table and set the object type to document rows and then we oops made a silly mistake there you go um, update so we have two tables one is vmst and one is vmst child so basically what we will do now is go to customization tools once again and click on user defined fields management i have previously mentioned how to create user defined fields on one of these modules. In this video, I'll show you how to create user different fields on UDTs. So these are the tables that we just created. Click on vehicle table and click on add. Let's give it a UDF called name, a description name as well. Keep the type to alphanumeric and click on add. So we have a new DF. And let's click another one, call it date. Set the type to date and time and hit at yes okay so basically we have udfs for the document table let's create a couple of udfs for the document rows table so add and then let's call this a no let's call it fake code same here click add Add another one and call it description. Let's change the length to 20 and click on add. So there we go. Now we go to creating a new DO. First, you have to go to tools once again and then go to customization tools and click on objects registration wizard. Click on next. So these are the options you get. You can add a new object, update the object, and register an object and delete an object. We'll click add a new object. We'll choose add a new object and click on next. Give it a unique ID. Let's call it VMST. Name as VMST as well. So If you remember, I have previously mentioned these are the only two options you will get once you get to creating a new DO. So we have created a table for document and a table for document row. If we click on master data and then we go to click on to table name, see there are no tables because we didn't create a table that is a master data type document, master data type object, excuse me. So we have to click on document, click on tables once again. And there we go. So VMST is the document type table. We do not see the rows table because that option will eventually come in, in the next few steps. 
let's click on BMST and click on choose next these are the mandatory uh, services that your user defined object will have that SAP has set for you so you will have add option and update option already you also have a delete option if you check it so we'll leave it as it is and we all also have find as well so that we can pick the records or find the records that we have added and then click on to next so default form we if we check this uh, SAP will create your user form so this is basically the UI settings uh, this will uh, give you a very brief and a very limited option on how you want your form to look like so this default form is set by SAP and if you check to if you check menu item this will give you the option to give it a caption we'll call it PMST and parent menu ID if you want to set your user defined object to one of this already provided modules you can do that for now let's uh, actually let's pick, pick one of this let's pick inventory for now and click on OK that's the ID for inventory we can place the UDO at the very bottom by checking this option which is place at bottom and we leave the rest as they are and click on next these are the fields that you will be shown once you click on find which is the navigation option right here uh, docnum is already a default option you can change that so we're just going to check name and date the user defined fields that we created if uh, if you see here uh, there is a prefix u underscore to both the user defined fields that we created i think i have already mentioned it in my video if i have not you should know that uh, sap recognizes user defined fields with this particular prefixes which you do not see for this other uh, fields here so there's a little bit of information for you so click on next and these are the options that will be shown on your form we're not going to check any of this right now you can if you want so i'm just going to check the fields that i created click on check next sorry and then you check the child table if you want it to show on your form if you don't you can leave it unchecked but for now we'll keep it and then click on next this give you the child table uh, user defined fields vehicle code and description uh, is the ones that we created for this particular table so click on next and finish finish once again so this is where we created our user defined object as you can see it looks exactly like one of the forms that we have one thing we see here is doc entry and it's disabled so basically this will provide a number for your document and it's auto set by sap business one and if you do not want to see that what you can do is you can go to uh, options i guess okay not this one we can go to tools and we can go to edit ui form and then we can right click on this click on hide right click on this click on hide and we can set this up right there all right save leave UI mode let's close this and reopen it oh that's embarrassing uh i guess we'll just leave this for now it's not a big deal we can hide it uh, as we want for now let's just see if we can add a record let's give this a name called mark and a date let's just let's just leave the day state uh, these are all manually set we can give it a code 001 and give it a description uh, what do you call let's just call it truck I'll click on that so operations completed successfully let's pick the last record there we go if we want to update it see if the if that works so let's change the name to mark hamilton 
okay so we get an error because we set the data length to 10 so if you want to increase the length of the data type you can do that by going to tools customization tools management these are different tables I believe it was name so let's update that change it to 20 date yes there we go so now we go back to VMST mark let's pick the last record yes so mark Hamilton update okay so so the update function works fine the navigation menu also works fine and the ad record obviously works all right so that's pretty much the basics of user defined objects there are a lot of things you can do you can use the screen painter add-on to change the ui look uh, i'll leave that for another day uh, for now that is all you have for user defined object uh, please subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if it helps and comment down below if there's anything else you want to see next until next time thank you